Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video we're going to be talking about some makeup products that I've recently rediscovered, dug out from the depths of my makeup drawer, things that have been neglected and forgotten about. And we're going to talk about why I have re-fallen in love with them. And Chloe is going to be joining us for today's video. She might actually help me take the products out and so we can kind of chat about them together. So the first thing is this lip liner. This is by Clinique and it's called the Quick Liner for Lips. It's in the shade Baby Buff. I have it on my it's lips beautiful. today. It is a good color. It's a really nice peachy nude, but I like the formula of these quick liners. It's a really nice bronzy peach color, really good for summertime. I have this on today underneath my lipstick, and I, you know, I just dug it out, and I'm like, you know what? This is a really nice color. I tend to go for more peachy nude lip liners in the summer when I'm doing more of like bronzy colors. If you like today's makeup look, I did just film a Get Ready With Me video, so I will link that below as well, but this lip liner is a really beautiful color, and I just have not been giving it enough love. But now that I've dug it out, I'm like, this is kind of a fabulous color. Okay, pick the next thing. Ah, your favorite. <laughs> she always likes to look at these. These are the Galan Meteorites. And these poor suckers were just in the wrong spot. You know when you have your makeup organized in the wrong way? You miss things completely just because it's in the wrong drawer or it's not in an area during the step you normally do it in. And so these are a product that I don't think are a must have, but they're really fun. First of all, let me see if I can get this open. They, my kids call them Easter eggs because they look like little Easter eggs. Or candy. Or candy, but don't <laughs> eat them. These are the original, um, from their original line. This is number two, Claire. And so what these really do, essentially, it's not really something you're going to be able to see me putting it on here in front of you, but they add a slight all over like fairy dust kind of glow, which is why she likes to wear them. But on her beautiful, perfect little skin, these look so pretty. But if you want something that's just going to add a little bit of all over glow, um, a fun kind of way to do it, they're kind of spendy, but you know, I've had these for years years. <laughs> I probably would have at least went through them by now, but they were just sitting in the wrong location. But I do really like these. I like them more as like a finishing step. So I'll do all my makeup. I don't use this as like a setting powder or anything, but I'll do all my makeup and then I'll just kind of fluff them in this general area. Not necessarily all over my whole face, but I prefer them a little more in the highlight area. So these are fun. These are a rediscovered favorite. I say something? What do you want to say? I look you know, I only put one thing on, so that's. Okay, I only it. look pretty because I have one thing on. I don't. I don't have a lot of things on. Oh, you look pretty all the time. She does like to put a little bit of lip lip gloss on from time to time, and you did choose a beautiful color. But you know something, you don't have to have makeup on to be beautiful. It's just I that when like you get older, color. you lose some of those natural definitions, and the makeup helps I just you out like a little. I like the color. That's why. I do like the color. This. This. Okay, I've been using this so much lately that I had to include this in the video. This is the Bare Minerals Pressed Bronzer. Now, I realize and I know that this was a limited situation, but I, I dug it out because I love the pressed formula of their bronzers. That's the bronzer I have on today. It really gives a beautiful, all over natural healthy glow it's not orange it's not too red of an undertone it's not too orange it's not too golden it's just a really nice bronze you know this is made in germany yeah it is made in germany the quickie liner is made in germany anyway so that's what the color looks like i just think it's a really nice bronzer so if you haven't tried the bare minerals ready bronzers the pressed formulation i would give them a go i really enjoyed this this one has a shimmer mixed in with it. It's like a matte and then a more shimmery one, which quite honestly, they may have that available right now if you check, you know, Ulta, Sephora, QVC, that kind of thing. But the bronzers or even the standalone uh, bare mineral stores, which I forget about, um, might have something like that. Okay, what's next? We already did this one, so we'll put this aside. This. Okay, this. Just, you want to open it? This eyeshadow duo just so happens to be the duo that I'm wearing today and it's actually even going to be in my June favorites because I just love this duo. It is, excuse me, the epitome of summer colors. You want to show it to them? It's a nice golden, golden gold, more of like a true, well it's not like a, like a lighter gold, it's a, it's a deeper, more amber, you know like a MAC amber lights kind of gold. And then this copper color is stunning. You want to give them a swatch? 
stick your fingers, stick your cute little fingers in there. I don't know what side. One of each. But these NARS duos, this particular one is so buttery. Incredible. Okay, and then just put it on mommy's arm. Incredibly pigmented. There you go. Very, very buttery. Very pigmented. In fact, I got a little heavy handed when I did the, the eye look and I got a little nervous there for a moment, but... I would definitely recommend picking this out for summer if you like those colors. And like I said, it's what's on my eyes. Stunning. Greensies. Oh, you got some too? <laughs> I have three more things, and they are in my little Z palette here. So I like that big one. I do too. I wore that the other day, and it was stunning. Uh, this. This is MAC Emphasize. This is a, one of those products where it's in a Z palette, right? And because I put three different types of... Hold on, baby. They can't see. Because I put three different types of products in the C palette, I don't really know where to store it because it's got a highlighter, a blush, and this. This is a pressed, like, highlighting powder. What am I doing? It's matte. <laughs> She's distracting me. I don't even know if we're in focus this whole video, but it's just for fun. Um, it's a pressed highlighting powder that you can use to set your under eyes or just to kind of set any of your foundation in an area where you want some brightness. Now it's very light, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work for all skin tones, but actually on mine, it when you blend it out, it actually adds a really nice amount of brightness. So if you're looking for something to set your under eyes that's also gonna brighten a little bit, I would check out this MAC Emphasize Powder. It's really beautiful. You can also use this, like if you're looking for a matte like a matte, oh, oh, hold on, sweet pea. Oh, she's cleaning up. Uh, a matte kind of highlighting powder for this area and you don't want something glowy, I would also check this out. Or even in your T-zone or any areas where you have some sort of darkness, maybe maybe go for this. I did find that it held my concealer down nicely and I didn't notice any disappearing or creasing or any of that sort of thing. So the next thing we have here is a MAC Mineralize Blush. This is the shade Gentle. Fun fact, this was the first MAC blush I ever bought and uh, the first mineralized blush that I ever bought from them. Their mineralized blushes are really beautiful because they are marbleized, marbleized is that a word, with a kind of a sheen. Like when you put them on the cheeks they have a nice sheen. This is a beautiful plum color. There it is right there. Just really beautiful all over the cheeks. I wore this the other day blended out really nicely with just like a whisper of pink on the cheeks and it was really gorgeous. Um, I like the mineralized blushes because if you'd like to skip highlighter that day, you could. They had a nice all over glow to the cheeks as well as deposit some really good color. I found that it stayed really well. I did depot mine, which was not the smartest idea, but I watched a video about depotting and I had to go and do it. And I, <laughs> thankfully it was a lot of inexpensive drugstore palettes, but I wrecked so many things. Um, but this, this did make it through. <laughs> And I stuck it in this Z palette, but because it's raised, it doesn't work very well in there. And that's the last thing. This is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Okay, I typically, and you know this, love my more uh, barely there, lit from within, naturally glowy highlighters. And that's primarily because my skin isn't always perfect, and when I have texture and that sort of thing, a very glowy highlighter is only going to emphasize that and quite frankly, I think makes it look worse. Watch out, sweet pea. Um, but this is in very intense. But oh my gosh, I couldn't stop looking at myself in the mirror, which it, that's not a good thing. But the highlighter was so glowy, I'd walk by and it would catch my eye. I'd be like, what is that? Oh, it's my highlighter. <laughs> and those of us makeup junkies know what I'm talking about. So this is kind of like, um, you know how Becca's highlighters are super glowy and intense? That's what this is like, but the tone of it. It's like a white gold. Oh, it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's not frosty. It's not chunky. It's just really good. So I would say this right here is a really fabulous summer highlighter because once you get that natural sun kiss glow going on or you bronzer up to get that, you're going to highlight with this and you're going to just be, you're going to thank me. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Little baby swatch on your cute little arm. Oh, little kid's arms are so precious, aren't they? Look how cute it is. It's just so tiny. Where is your swatch? Your skin's so fair. <laughs> like, it blends right on in. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Did you have fun? Yes. Where are we off to? What's what's Where are we going to? <laughs> the path. <laughs>
I know, you're all swatched <laughs> up, you need one. But where are we going? It is a piano lesson. We are off to piano lessons. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll chat soon. Want to say bye? Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.